In this video, we are going to learn about e-commerce framework. This is a pictorial representation of e-commerce framework. There are two pillars, left and right, and in between these two pillars, there are four layers, and above these four layers, e-commerce applications are presented. Before getting into the explanation of this picture, let me first explain you about e-commerce framework. E-commerce framework is nothing but it is a set of conceptual structure where this structure is going to offer an environment to build e-commerce applications quickly. E-commerce applications are built on Emirate means extremely great number of computers where these great number of computers are interconnected with each other in order to establish a communication networks and to make these computers communicate with each other, a communication software is needed. Once this environment is established, on this e-commerce applications can be built very quickly. Now let me say about few e-commerce applications. They are a supply chain management, procurement and purchasing, audio and video on demand, entertainment and gaming, online marketing, and advertising, online shopping, online financial transactions, education, and research. These are few examples of e-commerce applications which both inter-organizational and consumer-oriented applications. Now let me say about this picture. So when you look at this picture, there are two pillars. The left-hand side pillar is termed as a public policy pillar and right hand side pillar is termed as a technical support pillar and in between these two pillars there are four layers at the bottom layer there is a layer one where we call this layer one as information superhighway infrastructure above this layer is a layer two where we call this layer two as a multimedia content and network publishing infrastructure above this layer two there is layer three where we are going to call this as messaging and information distribution infrastructure and above this layer three the topmost layer that is layer four is called as common business service infrastructure above all these infrastructures and e-commerce applications are built very quickly now let me explain about each and every layer individually so the first layer, as we said, is called as information superhighway infrastructure. And we are also going to call this layer as network infrastructure. Why? Because this layer majorly projects on constructing the network. That means a network is nothing but it is a collection of huge number of computers where these computers are interconnected with each other in order to establish communication in order to interconnect these computers, we may use telephone wires, cable TV wires, and sometimes we can also use radio-based wireless, that is cellular or satellites. And in order to establish a communication, we are going to use routers and servers. And that is the reason why this layer majorly focuses on hardware. Coming to the second layer, we call it as a multimedia content and network publishing infrastructure. So multimedia content means a multimedia is nothing but it is a communication media which contains multiple contents like videos, audios, music, da text data, graphics, photographs, images, animations, all these contents are termed as multimedia content. And this layer majorly uh, focuses on how this multimedia content is going to be published in the network. So this layer responsible to show the product or services. So in order to show the product or services, all these multimedia contents should be published in the network. In order to do so, they are going to use different markup languages like say for example hypertext markup language is used in order to embed all this multimedia content on to electronic documents or web pages and this web pages are the ones that are used to publish. So this layer completely focuses on how the products and services are shown to the 
customer or consumer. Now third layer is called messaging and information distribution infrastructure. So this layer completely focuses on how the messages and informations are distributed. Sometimes we get the messages or informations either in formatted or unformatted manner. So this layer is responsible to prepare and send the formatted as well as unformatted messages through these different uh, channels like it can be emails or it can be electronic data interchange or you can even distribute your information by using HTTP that is hypertext transfer protocol or even you can use a simple mail transfer protocols and file transfer protocols voice over internet protocols all these are all used in order to distribute the information or messages so this layer completely focuses on distributing the information the last layer is common business service infrastructure this layer completely focuses on providing the services to the customer or consumer when while it is providing the services it has to facilitate the buying and selling process. While it is facilitating this buying and selling process, it has to take into consideration the security, authentication, electronic payment and catalog measures also. Security, in order to provide security to the content that is transferred through internet, <coughs> we are going to use HTTPS protocol where it is termed as hypertext transfer protocol security why because it is going to encrypt the data and because of this encryption it is going to provide the safety and integrity to the data so encryption is nothing but converting a plain text to the ciphertext and decryption is nothing but converting the ciphertext to the plain text whereas https is going to use the encryption technology in order to encrypt the data and provide security and integrity to the data that is going to be transferred through internet. Secondly, authentication. This layer completely takes the responsibility to verify the identity of a user or a process. And nowadays, a digital signature has gained a popularity for authenticating transmitted information. Thirdly, this layer should provide the facility of electronic payment where it is a financial exchange that takes place between buyer and seller. Different types of electronic payments should be allowed like a credit card, smart card, debit card, net banking, mobile payments and so on. So electronic payment schemes are developed for handling the complex transactions. And lastly, this layer takes the responsibility to project the complete catalog that is complete item list now let us move to the two pillars that is left pillar as i said earlier it is a public policy pillar it is going to govern issues such as universal access privacy and information pricing and even it deals with the cost of accessing information regulation to protect consumers from fraud and to protect their rights to privacy, policing of global information traffic to detect information pirating or pornography. And right hand side pillar that is technical standard is to completely dedicated to nature of information publishing, user info, in, interfaces and transport in the interest of compatibility across the entire network. Why? Because it is crucial to ensure seamless and harmonious integration across the transportation network and access of information on any type of devices the customer chooses like if the customer chooses a laser disc or sometimes he may use a PCs, portable handheld devices or televisions and set up boxes all types of operating systems so technical standard deals about these things hope this video has given a detailed information about e-commerce framework so because of this framework electronic commerce applications can be built very quickly